Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at this. This is the 10.1 DDU from a company called Sim Racing Addict. It's a 5 inch LCD display and it's controlled by Sim Hub. Now you can, you're going to probably, before you start and you say you can do this on your phone, yes you can, you can do it on your phone, but it's sketchy at best on Wi Fi connections. You need some type of screen. This one is without a doubt the best one I've ever used. This is behind Gorilla Glass, so there's no mess that you haven't got a piece of thin plastic, you're not directly onto the screen, and this one has LEDs all around. The LEDs are completely functional. So, the LEDs, well you can see the reds flashing there, that would tell me there's a car on either side of me, this is just in a standby mode. The top two there tell me if I've got ABS, and traction control, etc, rev counter, really are useful and work superbly well. This comes in at 199.99 plus I think it was £4.65 postage, very minimal and it came really quickly. I ordered it on a Sunday, I arrived here on Wednesday. It's a Vocor screen so when you're using Dash Studio on SimHub you set it up as a Vocor screen and it will go bang straight away. So as you can see the screen looks really nice. I'm going to bring the screen closer to the camera because this is another feature that I want to discuss with you because this is one of the best features in my opinion. Let's pop it there. So here you can see the mount. So it's a 3D printed mount and it's a very nicely printed 3D mount. I'll just let that focus. We seem to have having a problem with focus in there. There you go. So it is a 3D mount but it's got magnets on as you can see there's two magnets at the top and behind here is a set of magnets and each side has a magnet and in three different positions so when you clip it in you can clip it to high medium or low it's almost like the mechanism holding it there the magnets are that good uh, and so whatever wheel you're using because if i'm using this for instance which has always been an issue for me and why i don't have screens tend to have screens above this wheel you can never see it but i can have it perfectly centered in this area with it or I can have it higher if I'm using an F1 start wheel. It really does work really well. It plugs in to a USB port but the beauty of this one is it's got a breakaway there so the whole cable the whole cable comes with it but this is a breakaway so it's dead easy to take on and off your rig if or if you wanted to change it for something else it's very easy to do. I am totally not sponsored um, for this video. This hasn't been sent to me. I paid £199 of my own money for this and I think it's exceptional. I had to contact the seller because of an issue I had. I found them extremely responsive. I couldn't have been any quicker coming back to me and they gave me the information I wanted. And I don't think you can ask for any more of that, that for customer service. Um, they also sell a couple of other products in, a couple of other products that are really cool, they, send, they sell a timer, I'll put an image of it on the top of the screen somewhere, and they also sell these dual flags, they've got either side which are fantastic, if you ever used the electronic flags they're superb, and I'm probably interested in, so at some point hopefully I'll be able to get them and then I'll do a review of those as well, but yes, I cannot thing highly i'm going to put a link in the description like i say this isn't sponsored whatsoever this is just my opinion and totally my opinion and if i get a bad product i'm going to tell you but if i get a good product i'm definitely going to tell you because there's more bad than good out there in my opinion so when you get a good one i think you should you know make a bit of a song and dance about it as you can see you just change the screens like you can on anything else it's dead easy to change the screens you can change your screens um, obviously through SimHub. If it's a dual screen, it has got touch. I don't know which one's got dual screen now. It has got touch. Now the buyer, the seller, sorry, puts a disclaimer on saying that it has got touch screen. But because it's behind Gorilla Glass, it's not as responsive as maybe it should be. I have found no issue with it at all. Uh, I have found when I've tried to use the dual screens that you can see that the touch screen is working absolutely fine. And no issue whatsoever with it as you can see no issue so I had no issues I don't actually use the touch screen I have a setup so I use it on my um, steering wheel but if you need it for that you can do that so enough jibber jabber let me stick the steering wheel back on set the rig up get a game running and let's see it in action and you can get a better idea
there you go. So this is it running. Let's hope the camera does this justice. And it really does look as good as it looks. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And as you can see, I hope you can see the lights are working at the side, telling me I've got cars on my side. When I'm braking there, the, anti the ABS kicks in. It's lighting that up. You can't see what's going on on the screen. I'm driving appallingly badly at this point, but I, I can't drive and speak. I just can't do it. So you're going to get an idea of what it looks like. And I hope, like I say, I hope it does it the justice. It's remarkably bright. I've, had a, I've got a couple of these type of screens and I find them to be dim. The brightness is, of course, adjustable through Sim Hub. I did everything on this. You can adjust the LEDs to suit yourself. But it does come with a file and it's dead easy to do with the instructions that you sent on how to put the file on so they work with the way that he intended for them to work. But yeah, it really is, it's really annoying that noise, it really is a decent screen, well, it's a brilliant screen in fact. Um, I've seen, obviously ones, the real ones you can buy for cars, for, you know, for your own car, for track racing, and they look no better than this, they really don't. So, I don't think there's much more I can really say about it other than I really like it. And like I say, I'm going to put a link to the product. Now, the link is the product is also available on eBay, but I'm not going to put the eBay link because it's more money on eBay, obviously, because there's obviously a 10% charge that the seller has to recoup. So you're better off buying it directly from his site. And then, of course, you can choose your own payment method. But, yeah, highly recommended. So thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And... Enjoy the rest of your week.